If we tried to publish a new entry in our drinks section right now, if I just said new entry drinks, the only thing I would get is the drink name, which is the title field. Let's fix this by creating a field layout for drinks. Field layouts are stored inside of the section entry types. So I go to settings, sections, to my drink section and to the entry type. As I mentioned before, we can have multiple entry types. There always has to be one, but we're going to only have one for right now. So like we looked at before, we renamed the title field and now we can design our field layout. These are the fields organized in tabs by section. You don't have to use these as they are, but I can drag up the drinks and I have introduction and page copy. So that's good. I can rename this if I want. I can say drink details. And of course we can also add multiple tabs if we wanted to as well. And that's great if you have a lot of fields and you wanna split those fields up into different tabs to make it easier to enter the content. So now I just created a field layout with introduction and page copy for each drink. And then the title will be called drink name. So we save that. Now if I go back to entries and create a new entry for drinks, you can see that it all looks very different now. We have our name, so espresso, our introduction. I'll just grab it from here. And then our page copy, which I'll just grab from here, paste that in. And now we have the ability to save our first entry for our first drink. And we click save. And here it is right there. Now if I click back in, I can edit it. I can save as a draft. I can also preview it. Now the preview functionality uses the template that you set as the view template, in our case, underscore entry. That is completely empty right now. I don't have any code, so nothing's gonna show up here. Let's close that. And now we've created our first entry. We can do the same thing in news. So if I go to entries, click news and do a new entry. Again, we don't have anything here because we haven't created the field layout. Let's do that. We'll go to settings, sections, go to our default entry type. And here's news. What do you want to call this for the title? We'll call this the headline. And I'm going to drag up news. We have the body and I have the excerpt in common. So I'll drag that up as well. And now I have these two fields in the layout. Save that. And now those fields are available when I go and create a new news entry. We have headline, excerpt, and news body. So headline, new coffee coming soon, excerpt, and then we'll paste in our content. So again, we can save that and we've created our new entry in the news section. If I click on all entries, I can see both of the entries we just created using the section we made, the fields we made, and then the publish layout. So that is all there is to creating fields and sections and layouts. Of course, as the content becomes more complex, the work that you do to build those and to figure out exactly how to translate the content requirements into craft will also take a little bit more time and work, but it's important to understand the general way to approach how to model content inside of craft.